Yes, I thought it was absolutely amazing. I, I actually fell asleep in the first five minutes and I, I didn't wake up until the end credits. But I, I thought the end credits were really, really well done. Go Team Vagina! Go Team Vagina! Go Team Vagina! Well, you know, just uh, just ten years ago when I was six, I wasn't allowed to vote. And now, thanks to feminism, in two years' time when I turn 18, I'll be able to vote because, uh, because women weren't even allowed to vote ten years ago. That's how oppressive we are. And now, we're, we've gained so much progress thanks to feminism, uh, we have a movie with a woman in it. Um, it's like, um, oh my god, um, oh my god, um, it's, um, yeah, it's like, um, Yay! Yeah, I, I have to say that the end credits were, uh, probably the best end credits I've, I've ever seen in the movie. And, and now uh, Captain Marvel is probably one of my all-time favourite movies. Yes, I think Captain Marvel is uh, truly groundbreaking in many, many different ways. It's the first movie ever with a woman in it. It's also the first movie ever with a female superhero in it. Woohoo! Women rule! Men suck! Men suck, you're so bad, men. And women rule. We can do anything. It's also the the first movie with a female superhero who has blonde hair. It's so groundbreaking. Probably not, because you know it's racist. It's not that complicated, people. It's really not. It's really not. It's easy. Oh my god. Uh, um, how do I... How do I even... Oh my god, how do I like even begin to like, like, oh my god, like, describe it, like, um, read a different book. And yes, in, in Children of Woody Allen, the cult I was born into, devoted to 24 hours a day of sexualizing murder victims. Yes, and it, it, it's, it's also the first movie with a female superhero with blonde hair who has a, a cat as a pet. Oh, I just like the fact that the movie was, was about a single woman with a cat because I'm I'm single and have a cat. And I'm I'm probably probably going to be single with a cat for a long time. Team Vagina rules. We're the best. Team Vagina rules. Suck shit, men. And that would be like us saying, maybe, because someone said that to me in Germany. And if people want to cry about not getting to like somebody they liked on their kids, but that's a cult too. I can't really pick any faults with it, except there was a man in the theatre with us, and I felt, like, really scared because, you know, he could have gone on a rape frenzy or something at any point and, and possibly raped and killed all the women in the theatre. I, I don't know why they would let a man into a movie like this. Sexually frustrated men. They've not been able to engage in normal horizontal delights, let's say. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. It's, um, it's like, um, oh my god. Well, I think the message of the movie is that is that women can do anything, including being a, a super-powered, genetically altered alien hybrid, and I, I think that's an important message for young women. Well, I think the message of the movie is really important. I, I like the bit where Captain Marvel talked about the Cree wage gap, and about how Cree women only earn 77 Cree cents to every Cree dollar that a Cree man makes. And I, I think that's an important message that everyone on Earth should be listening to in 2019, because what about the Cree women? Why aren't, why aren't we talking about them? I never hear anything 
in the media talking about them and their oppression. I like the fact that uh, the mo- there wasn't any mansplaining or manspreading in the movie. I, I think that's really important. All the men out there just jealous because Team Vagina is the best. I, I like the part of the movie where uh, Captain Marvel punched the man in the face because I, I think that's really representative of feminism smashing the patriarchy and I think that's what we need more in movies. I think the best thing about the movie was the the type of font they used in the credits. I think that was really good. Uh, I I don't know who chose that font but I think it was really good. I'd just like to say to all the misogynistic MRA trolls on 4chan, you guys suck because Team Vagina rules. Women rule unlike men. Men suck. They did the same thing to me that they did to Mary. Every interview was what a man did. So I understood the detail, the funneling, and the system of how we sell ideas to people. And basically having a 2.2 IQ, but the message they send out is, you deserve this. Well, it's good to see a strong character who has a vagina. And that's the main thing that I look for when I choose a movie to see. I'm looking mainly for a strong female character with a vagina. Um, Some people say that the plot or the characters or the director or things like that are more important. But personally, I, I think all you really need for a good movie is a strong female character with a vagina. I'd highly recommend uh, Captain Marvel to, to anyone out there. Uh, everyone should go see it, especially the end credit scene. To all those ignorant assholes out there criticizing feminism, feminism is just about equality, right? It's just about equality of the genders, which is why it's important to point out that women rule and men suck. We have like a trillion, a trillion PhDs in being a woman. Why? Because we're in our skin. I said, this is like kind of what a woman experiences. And he said, maybe, waving his hand. Go Team Vagina. Team Vagina rules. Team Vagina is the best. Yes, I'd, I'd highly recommend that uh, everyone go see Captain Marvel, unless you're a man, in which case you're probably just a Nazi. Suck shit, men. It's... Oh my god, it's like, um... My God, it's like, um, it's okay.